man on pole on the right of your screen, Rob Wickens, Alexander Rossi, uh, right next to him. So it's the uh, black and red car you should be watching here. He looks like he set himself an attitude to defend here, and away they go. That's a big movement to midfield and a drifting across he comes. Good defence work by Rob Wickens. Uh, Rossi's been tangled up here. Oh, a few getting uh, very, very ambitious coming in here. Uh, probably the surface here already giving a lie to the fact that um, it is just starting to spit a little bit here but clean away Rob Wickens great start by him yeah absolutely uh, everything that the pole man would have wanted has caused you to the man on the move Rossi dropping back on the dirty side of the track and we have the Red Bull that's Ricardo the number three car uh, then also got a good start but got held out in, and hung out to dry in, in those initial two corners is Ricardo defending from Cajuz Rossi on the line very very quick when there's no spots of rain on this camera lens uh, but the cars are tittering around now down into the hairpin we go this is an overtaking opportunity opportunities here don't forget plenty of them and it looks like the leader is off it looked like the Marisha Virgin car of Wickens went straight on there let's pan to see where is he? He's rejoined there. It looks like the Ricardo is now leading this race with Rossi up the inside of Cauchy's. Yes, it is. Look at the rain. It's hooning down as they come into this braking zone. Well, this is going to be a big, big moment. Uh, those who might well have been minded to take some wets would have had a huge advantage here. Uh, the rain has absolutely burst and getting it very wrong. Corius there, and he goes back from, what, P3 to 5 by the end of that manoeuvre. Yeah, Cauchy's now under pressure from the second of the who was that that's ramos oh contact and rossi's in a spin here oh too collected and then uh, that is a nightmare here the track has beaten them but that's our championship leader by the looks of things that's john eric van it looked like he had nowhere to go was that ramos or rossi that spun we've lost the pictures there it's a nightmare when it rains because you are effectively the first. As we see, look, this is a prime example of what I'm about to say. Look, Wickens, the first into the rain, and he goes wide. It allows Ricardo just to break that little bit earlier. He sees the danger because he's seen the leader skate off. And, um, and he well takes over the lead but it was Wickens to get Ricardo back as this now at turn one Ricardo really struggling with the rear of the car Wickens back up the inside of him and uh, like I said Wickens will now be pleased as we see Van it's Van touching Rossi so Rossi out on the exit curb and our championship leader being a little bit over ambitious there and taking the young American out of the race and himself a lot of ambition he'll have in P5 at the moment with uh, Fauzi well welcome back Mr Fauzi there he is in the top six right now in front of the crowd. Green flag has been offered up then. Round they come and time to boot it. Ricciardo is playing the hound here. The hair out front is Rob Wickens. A lot of speed being carried down here. Choose your line through and keep your fingers crossed right now. Rob Wickens tied on the inside. Big challenge by Ricciardo. Has he got what it takes here? He's going to have to be pushed wide. Wickens tries to get him back on the return and can't do so. Oh, and Corius took it very, very wide and he kind of disappeared here. Ramos gave him too much respect. He has been distanced as the battle up front rages on terrific stuff yeah Wickens really was the bottleneck there he uh, was struggling to get onto that start and finish straight Ricardo had a better line had more grip probably softer at the rear of that Red Bull car and uh, once Wickens was defending it was a case of how late could Ricardo break on the line he went all the way around the outside of the Canadian driver textbook driving from the pair of them Wickens didn't want to risk too much he's now effectively leading the championship with Van out And this is the incremental part. Is Ricciardo going to pit? Is Wickens going to pit? What are they going to do? They, oh, <laughs> they don't pit. They're still engaged in warfare here. And Wickens up the inside on the return here. Absolutely superb onto the start finish straight. Well, he didn't like it before, but he loves it now. Ricciardo on board with him. Just uh, look to the right of your screen and just try and see a uh, Rob Wickens liveried machine just coming uh, to the head here. Now then, they've got to carry a lot of speed here. They're thinking about racing instead of the conditions. Now then, this corner is going to be crucial. What will be the outcome? Whoa! And there's the answer. All sees now the reserve of Marussia Virgin F1. And um, yes, he's in the baby Virgin car now. But with all of these back markers here being used as a foil, Ricciardo, um, he's, a, he's a wily old fox. And I think... Uh, 
it's the long game is going to be played by Wickens here and I think the ambition for today is going to be with Ricciardo but uh, he's got to be so careful he doesn't ruin it for both of them here well Michael Hark nearly ruining it for both of them experienced guy from GP2 across to this championship as a guest and not really doing Wickens any favours there as Ricciardo having a good look up the inside Wickens breaking very late as he locked it all up he has oh here we go then I think uh, oh just on the exit he picks it up and gets the long line through big slingshot there for Rob Wickens but he's going to get caught on the inside is he no he's got the escape wrapped up here oh super work great driving here by uh, Wickens he's been quick here all weekend uh, I'm, I think minded for the championship or I thought minded for the championship he might just ease off a little bit here uh, take the points he can get for a runners up spot on the day but not a bit of it he's going for victory here and Ricciardo well equally so for ISR here this is great race uh, still closes the gap once more it's very very narrow here as they come through the chicane Ricardo very very strong through the final sector good under brakes into into the the NGK chicane and good round here so it looks like he's got good traction he's good through the the, the slow speed stuff but Wickens really putting a gap on him in, in the high speed stuff now Wickens can he find the suitable braking spot not put himself under pressure here very difficult to turn one very bumpy Ricardo trying to put him off but I don't think Robert's going to fall for that big pressure by Ricciardo uh, just trying to fill his mirrors with his presence here and just force an error but Rob Wickens well he's wise to this right now and he's heading for glory here unless Ricciardo can mount a challenge and he's got time to do it uh, by the time they cross the start finish line next time by it should be the final lap declared we will see uh, as they come in past uh, the stadium section here on the other side one minute and 20 seconds remaining and then the lap but uh, this is going to go absolutely down to the wire we're going to have to keep it up front here Stempentis the next car that they will be lapping will he do the honourable thing and get out of the way it looks like he will move Stempentis please do ruin this for all of us as Wickens up the inside Ricardo's going to follow him good driving by the, the Estonian driver there the epic racing car getting out of the way and who's next well, it's De Jong it is De Jong indeed and uh, they're going to catch him at these speeds uh, 50 odd seconds before the clock's out and then there's a lap don't forget and he also uh, clears to allow this battle to rage on and it is raging here Rob Wickens who got him into a little bit of trouble nothing too serious when it was wet uh, ceded the front position to Ricciardo Ricciardo though having uh, tasted glory up front wants it back here after a super move by Wickens while they're on a drying track here they can't believe it we can't uh, we're just about to come out of time here and then it'll be the final lap what a finale well is the clock going to go down I don't think it will we'll wait and see they've got 21 seconds 20 seconds to get across the line I think poor old Robert Wickens will be wishing that clock <laughs> down but I don't think he can get to the line Ooh, it's going to be tight anyway uh, we'll see I think they're going to cross it and then have to do another lap here we go count it down yourself oh, 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 what about that well with a roundabout uh, oh just my goodness they he, he, maybe he was hanging back a little bit uh, we'll see the clock's gone uh, so a final lap will de be declared uh, next time by no they've declared it this will be the last lap right now that was close within a second but anyway here we go everybody aware that this is the race for the flag right now and look at all the back markers that we've got ahead now is Robert going to catch them I think he would there's a gaggle of about four cars I think that is the move Mackenzie Hartley well that is one of the was that who's that moving out of the way it can't be Panciatici it will be his team yeah it was Panciatici so Panciatici's back out moving out of the way we've got De Jong Daniel Move and McKenzie next look at this move in the way oh and they keep it clean uh, but the ambition of Wickens there he just dipped a wheel just beyond the white line here that shows how much this means to him well he's gonna if he keeps in this position he's gonna be the race winner on the day and he's gonna be the new championship leader as well we're on the final lap and uh, well Rob Wickens they I thought they were gonna check could flag them they've obviously uh, undeclared it and now they've declared the final lap well we've got last lap graphics on the screen we've got last lap graphics on the live timing and they haven't thrown the checkered flag so <laughs> if there's ever a lesson for you young drivers at home always race to the checkered flag because there'll be a few people scratching their heads on the pit wall there's a few people scratching their heads watching this but luckily enough Wickens was alert to it he's pushing he knows he's still got one more lap and Ricardo has another chance to try and pass him for Go the lead. again was the message that just came to him as he came round the final corner uh, yes misdeclared the final lap well it was absolutely split second I think it was about a one and a half seconds in it as they crossed the line and we thought oh they've just uh, forgotten the clock but no rules is rules and the marshals have actually said no we're going to go for that final lap and you can uh, <laughs> doesn't matter whether you put the graphic up or not uh, so stay with us we're still racing here and Wickens absolute credit to him that he just kept it booted
Yeah, now can Ricardo keep it close enough through here? This is where Wickens is strong. Watch Ricardo get in here. If we stayed on board, Ricardo can't pick the throttle up as early as Robert in here. He starts to push on the exit. He's got a lot of understeer in that car in the mid to high speed corners. He's not close enough. So unless Wickens makes a mistake under braking into this NGK chicane, Ricardo cannot pass him for the lead. You know, I think uh, Ricciardo uh, put everything that he had on the table in that previous lap, perhaps thinking like the rest of us that it was uh, the last one has it been declared incidentally he's having a go now though well 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 now or never you might say but we've been saying that before here we go at long last the checkered flag for robert wickens 